Today we're taking a look at the AMD Ryzen 7700X and Cinebench. I'll be testing both the stock and an overclocked configuration. The cores will be overclocked to 5.4 GHz all cores. We're going to go through the Cinebench R20 test first. For reference, the test system is of course the Ryzen 7700X. The CPU is being cooled by the massive Thermalrite PA120 heatsink. The motherboard is an ASRock X670E PG Lightning model. I'm running 32GB of G-Skill 5600CL36 DDR5 memory, and there's an RTX 3060 Ti installed, and it's all inside of a Be Quiet PureBase 500DX case. For the stock run, we can see the Ryzen 7700X scored 7,682 points, where the 5.4 GHz all-core overclock scored 8,172 points for a gain of about 6.38%. Let's take a look at the R23 benchmark session. By the way, the stock core temperatures were hovering around 93 to 95 degrees Celsius by the end of both of the stock tests. The overclocked CPU temps were between 97 and 100 degrees Celsius. This is going to work, but even with a beefy air cooler, Manual overclocks really are going to require an all-in-one or custom water cooling loop. The stock R23 run scored 19,539 points, where the 5.4 GHz all-core overclock scored 20,821 points for a gain of about 6.5%. I try to make these videos short and sweet. If you found this one helpful, hit that like button, get subscribed to the channel for more benchmarking, and a head-to-head -head AMD versus Intel testing later this month. I'll have links to this test system in the description below, so definitely make sure to check that out.